Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. You know what that sound means, everybody. I we're don't. we're talking about single panel comics. Again. Oh, the single panel comic mating call. Yep. That's just the sound that it makes <laughs> us make whenever we see them. In springtime. Whenever we see what, Nathan? A single panel comic. <laughs> <laughs> the peek behind the curtain, that sound scared the cat away. <laughs> I scared Olive so much, she jumped out of my lap. She's going to find some single panel comics. You gotta go find some single. Well, you know what? That's because we only have room for one cat in our hearts right now. Wow. Ooh. Oh, perfect. As if planned. As if planned. <laughs> for people who might not have seen or just don't remember our New Yorker episode, I made a suggestion in the middle of that episode <laughs> that we do it again, but with Heathcliff comics. And many people in the comments agreed with me uh, I'm just going to shout out the first 10 names that I saw in the comments <laughs> who who also suggested this. So thank you to David Wandler, Eli Tettelbach, Walrus Bite, Minty Illusion, Squeezy Dot, MX Rochelle, Stuart Spencer, Stephen Petrillo, William Bowles, and Kalidra. Ooh. There were at least 20 other comments. But those were just the ones that Nathan liked the best. And they are in order of <laughs> most to least favorite. Yeah. yeah. I choose my favorites based on how they show up in the uh, <laughs> quick search bar <laughs> when you uh, Apple F uh, search the comments. But thank you to everyone who agreed with me that this would be a good idea to do an episode about Heathcliff is a theater of the absurd. There's a cat, but the fact that he's a cat truly doesn't matter. The comics are a departure from our reality in the best way possible. And uh, I just want to live in that world with y'all on this episode. <laughs> Let's go. Let's okay. do it. Karina's first. Karina is first. I have ah. chosen some Heathcliff comics that uh, I am going to read you the caption of. And then you can try and draw a Heathcliff comic or you can draw whatever you want. It's truly it's truly open-ended. Okay. I tried to pick ones that really make no sense, which wasn't hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all of it. It was the first three you saw. <laughs> yeah, very similar to how I chose the names to shout out in the intro. All right, Karina, here is your caption. Okay. I'm just glad their robots get along. I'm what? Possessive there? Yes. You forgot the word glad. I'm just I'm j their robots. <laughs> glad. Get along. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I keep hearing it as they are robots. Get along. I'm just glad they are robots. Get along. <laughs> they are robots. Get along. Did I miss any words, gang? No, no that's, that's all of them, especially glad. Thanks. I could never reach this point without y'all. Okay. <laughs> Love I've you. made this comment before, but <laughs> Karina, your penmanship is wonderful. Thanks. And it's always a pleasure to watch you write a stuff. It's because I got really into hand lettering everything because I hate myself. Anyway, <laughs> robots getting along. Yeah. Yeah. And Who's you're, robots? You're, you're glad. Yeah, someone is glad that someone else's robots are getting <laughs> are getting along. <laughs> in this comic about a cat, yeah. <laughs> ostensibly. What if it's two characters that don't traditionally get along, like a Tom and Jerry that don't get along, but then they but have robots, robots and those robots get along. <laughs> and then what? someone else is looking on and saying yeah. this. Well, I'm just yeah. gonna put in the Heathcliff because I do like the, the shape of Heathcliff. <laughs> Heathcliff. I'm the in love with the shape of Heathcliff. <laughs> yeah, one could say. <laughs> <laughs> Who could say? I don't know. Who would say something like that? Oscar winner, The Shape of Heathcliff. <laughs> <laughs> Heathcliff kind of looks like this. That's him. Yeah, he's a little dumpy dumpling of a friend. Yeah, he's friend shaped. But he's not a friend. I want to make that perfectly clear. <laughs> he's just a guy. <laughs> he, is, he is unknowable and unpredictable and dangerous. I mean, that's the thing, though. You want his friendship, but Heathcliff is fickle. 
He's guided by his bassist impulses. Yeah, he's like the Joker. He's ba- he's basically the Joker. Yeah, yeah, he's the Joker to Garfield's Batman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will say Garfield does show up in Heathcliff comics. He does, yeah. What's their what's their dynamic? Usually Heathcliff is driving a human car and it's full of other cartoon cats including Garfield. Oh. But isn't, isn't there one where like he and Garfield are like standing on a sidewalk facing each other and it's like I always knew this day would come or something like that. <laughs> and that's it. That's the comic. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's one that's like that. I'm going to have to find it now. They worked out their differences, and now they go on joy rides with Tony the Tiger. Damn, Tony too. <laughs> yeah, Tony's there. That's a real friend group. Yeah, <laughs> every friend group has one. <laughs> the hot one, <laughs> the lasagna lover, <laughs> the Joker. <laughs> I found the comic where they meet, and they are standing on a sidewalk facing each other. Garfield's back is to you, so you can't see his face. <laughs> And the caption just says, it just got real. <laughs> right. There there are a lot of captions that really give you nothing. I tried to avoid them for this challenge because I got I got real vague. So you were left in the with New Yorker. three comics yeah. in the entirety of Heathcliff. There are different levels of vagary. There's okay. like yeah. th- this this type of vague where you don't really know the context, but you, you're given something. There are mm-hmm. robots and they are getting along. Right. Whereas there are some comics that are just like, it's Wednesday already? Yeah. yeah. It's like, what would we even do with that? Yeah. Which again, I already gave Julia <laughs> already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One word. <laughs> I wanted to give you a little bit. I didn't want you to struggle too much because again, Heathcliff comics aren't about struggle. They're about joy and whimsy and absurdity. Are they? I think so. I'm really reading Karina's glad as sarcastic just because it's so big. <laughs> I'm just glad. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, I'm very excited. That's to a see robot. What this, yeah, it's a big robot. I was thinking like a mecha animal. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. And the robots oh. are like, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. But the pilots are like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Fight. Fight him. <laughs> it's unit 01 and unit 02 high-fiving. Heathcliff is just there. Yeah. You want to know my dark secret? What? I still haven't watched Evangelion. Okay. <gasps> so, Me neither. Uh, these are not Evangelion. <laughs> They're not a big mech person, honestly. Oh, my heart. My only, my favorite mech anime <laughs> Gurren Lagann. That counts. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> that one's like every mech anime in one, so you've basically seen them all. Should I make it Kamina and Viral's mechs? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. It yeah. like honestly wouldn't surprise me if they showed up in a Heathcliff. Yeah. Comic. There's no rules. If there was a Heathcliff comic where he was wearing the Gurren Lagann sunglasses, and it just said like, <laughs> I, a, like the you know, okay. getting ready to go drill is the caption. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, sure. There would be two birds on a wire, and one of them would be saying, "He believes in the him that believes in you." <laughs> yeah, okay. and that would it's be time the caption. To face my fears of drawing a mech. It's just a bunch of squares. Yeah, it's just look. It's not going to be that accurate. No. I just no, that's for the render. I made this like fan comic when I was in high school, where I was like a Gurren log on like joke comic, but I never finished it because once I got to the part where they have a mech battle, I was like, "That's too much work," and I just dropped <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> so, rip in Artist peace, life. prom with Viral. You'll never have an ending. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I would never even attempt to draw a mech battle. No. Never. I know my limits. Now we'll never know if he went to prom with But Feral. Jacob, don't believe that you can draw a Met comic. Believe in the me who believes you could draw a Met comic. You don't actually believe I could draw a Met comic. I do. You don't. You shouldn't. I bu- I bu- you draw <laughs> some like real cute mechs. Yeah. I mean, I could draw some real gummy bear ass yeah. robots and call it a Met comic. 
You yeah. could. But it wouldn't be. Everyone would know it's not. They would know I cheated. There'd be some really good shapes, some real expressive posing, and some real funny dialogue because those are all things that I believe in you to make. Thank you, Nathan. That's very nice of you. This yeah. All good I believe you could make later. a Met comic too. Whoa. I don't care Thanks, man. Karina you, has proven that she cannot make a Met comic. <laughs> I can still redeem myself because I do believe in myself. This, this is arc. a Met comic. She's proving it right yeah. now. Oh, damn. It's a single panel comic, dude. That's oh, my a, gosh. That's a whole comic. Uh, what if they... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, should make, they should make a single panel, like, daily Met comic. Just these, <laughs> these sorts of absurd scenes, these but in a world... Of- "Quote unquote jokes." <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what year it was, like 2018, that we all got super into reading Heathcliffs at well, work. Yeah, because Mike made a whole bot that gave us the Heathcliff of the day in our Slack. Yeah, he and then did. we would all talk about it first thing in the morning. They just delight me in a way that very few pieces of media do. It's because you can't. It's impossible to get a beat on it. Yeah. You literally never know what you're going to get. It's impossible to predict. It just feels like Peter Gallagher, the writer of these, is he's just having fun. He has no limiters on what he's doing. I think he's trying to tell us something and we're not listening. I'm listening. And we're not understanding. Has anybody <laughs> tried reading the first letter of all the Heathcliffs in the world <laughs> to see if it's a distress signal? <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be it. Did you see that one recently? It was Heathcliff like coming in on a drone into the butcher shop and they were like hide the ham. Julia. <laughs> That's the one I had picked for Jacob. <laughs> well, Jacob had seen it. What? The oh hell? no. Wow. <laughs> I, I really seen it. liked the caption hide the ham. All right, it's okay. I have some backups. Wow. Okay. I mean, well, I, I still... warned you that Jacob knew. If you want, I can still draw something else for that caption. No, no it's true. not the same. It's not the same. It's okay. Yeah, I did see it. Yeah. Julia showed it to me. Hide the ham is such a good caption. It it came up on my Twitter and it was so absurd that I immediately showed it to Jacob. Hide the ham. Well, it's on screen right now. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Take it in. Just imagine what Jacob might have drawn for Hide the Ham. Probably Sting. <laughs> <laughs> sting is coming for your hams. <laughs> He's a ham powered singing machine. Sorry, I'm drawing Max. I'm doing it real fast, though. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's good. I just keep looking at Heathcliff because he's reading very uh, anime intro. Yeah. Yeah, that pose. Yeah, that That's... pose. Where he's on a roof <laughs> facing away from us. And then he would like turn slightly and open his eye to look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Is Heathcliff the one speaking the caption? He in can't. This? That's impossible. He's just watching. So it has speak. to be. It has to be someone else. It yeah. Has to okay. Be a bird. I'll put. I'll put a bird in. Don't worry. Yeah. Because okay. Heathcliff never speaks. It has to yeah. be a branch that comes in from off screen, even though he's <laughs> on a building. I want like some analytics on Heathcliff comics, like the number of times the person speaking is a bird versus an old woman. So Heathcliff never speaks. No, not as far as I know. I don't. In think the he ever single does. panel ones, yeah. I haven't delved into the the multi-panel uh like weekly ones that he, they do he doesn't speak what in those fuck? either okay <laughs> this is really good Korean. <laughs> <laughs> this is it the sequel to prom with viral <laughs> the comic i never finished when i was 15 <laughs> this the is how it ends been waiting <laughs> <laughs> a decade in the making there's probably at least one person in the comments that is like well, I know about that. Yeah, Problem with Viral was like my masterpiece. <laughs> 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 Say that about every absurd comic I've ever made in my life, but it's true. <laughs> 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 it's about going to Problem with Viral yeah. on the 17th of May. <laughs> every piece of art we make is our masterpiece until the next piece of art we make. Wow. Yeah, that's Because we only become more masterful. 
Exactly. Think about that, asshole. That's probably exactly what Peter Gallagher thinks. <laughs> and he when should. He makes a Heathcliff because everyone is a masterpiece. Okay. It's a bird. There aren't birds in Gurren Lagan. There's those weird little raccoon fellas. Okay. Oh, yeah. It can be one of those. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> good shapes. That's a good Nathan sound. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> Your shapes have gotten the sound to emerge. That's all I wanted. <laughs> That's all I needed. Oh, I'm having a good time. This is great. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense. Like it works. Yeah. Did I make it make too much sense? No, it's no, perfect. I love it. It makes the exact right amount of sense. <laughs> I'm excited to be disappointed with the original. <laughs> I'm always disappointed. I mean, the original doesn't make a ton of sense either, but what you have to know is that every so often, Heathcliff has a robot. That's true. Heathcliff's robot shows up in, in multiple comics over the years. I want to see it, Nathan. Are we okay. ready? I'm ready. This Send is it. it. Here it comes. Okay. It's. <sighs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting a romantic angle to it. Huh? <laughs> 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 so they both have robots. They both have. They robots. both have robots. And they get along. I guess there was a worry, maybe, that the robots would not get along even though they did get along. But that fear has been assuaged. Does Heathcliff have a girlfriend? Sometimes. They're sort of on on and off. Yeah. Wow. I think wow. they're just friends with Ben. Pretty Benefits. casual. Here's a question, and this is a nitpicky question about this comic. Uh-huh. Where is Heathcliff's tail? Oh. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> because the robot is sort of Coming around the the outside. robot is closer to us. The yeah, robot's a, doing a sachet. Yeah, it's sort yeah. of a bit of a optical illusion. I yeah, guess. the robot's actually shorter than the fem coated robot. Mm -hmm. So I guess that robot's a short king. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I like mine. Yeah, yours yeah. is great. Yeah, I like both. <laughs> I'm pleased. Thanks. I think mine's could totally be a real Heathcliff. I agree. It, it probably needs more like t-shirts that have words on them or other articles of clothing. Helmets. Maybe I'll add that in post. You'll have seen it by now. <laughs> okay. All right. Nathan, have you found another one for me? Oh, I have, Jacob. A backup. I, I have a backup. Okay. And good news, it even includes the word ham. Oh, excellent. Uh, instead of hide the ham, Jacob, your Heathcliff caption is, What's the speed limit for ham? <laughs> okay. The speed limit for ham. What's the speed limit for ham? Yeah. I'm having two thoughts about what this could be. Fast okay. ham. Fast ham. The ham is definitely going fast. I think there's no <laughs> way about, no way around that. Yeah. <laughs> because there's no other reason to ask this question. <laughs> right. <laughs> but is it like a busy world of Richard Scary ham car? Mm. Or is it like a <laughs> ham delivery and Heathcliff needs this ham stat? Right. You know? These are these yeah. are important questions. Yeah. And where does Sting come in? Yeah. And where does Sting come in? <laughs> and what about what about Sting? Go uh go go ahead and watch that uh <laughs> New Yorker episode if you're confused by why we keep talking about Sting. This is truly a sequel. Is episode. the ham an English ham in New York? <laughs> Rocks ham. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not including Sting. Okay. In this, because I coward. I, but I said rocks ham. You did. You did. <laughs> I can't argue with you there. You did say it. She she said it. You sang rocks ham. Yeah, I put rocks ham in my render. <gasps> wow, it you're was not there. gonna remember that. She's writing Maybe. it down. <laughs> we'll find every out. every ham you take. <sighs> Every ham you make. Yeah, that's a note I'm gonna understand. In <laughs> Add rocks ham. Jacob, I'm glad. 
I'm glad you've included the ham helmet. Important feature of many a Heathcliff comic is uh, a football helmet with the word ham <laughs> written on it. Yeah, of course. It's not always ham. It's usually ham, but it's there have been kale uh, as well. Football helmets seem to be a key mode of communication for, for Heathcliff. It usually <laughs> communicates intent Good. of some kind. I'm really trying to figure out how to draw like a motorcycle. Yeah. And the thing is, I just don't know. I just don't know how to do it. Have you watched Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds? Draw it like those. I don't, I've not watched Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. Then you're beyond help. Have you watched Akira? Yeah, I've watched Akira. Draw it like that. Draw it like that. We That's got, how we, they look in 5Ds. <laughs> we can have two anime That's pretty good one. references I pulled in up, our comics. I pulled up a Toriyama motorcycle. Ooh. Because that's very Jacob. Jacob loves yeah. a, a small bubble vehicle. Oh my God, just put him on one of those things they have like in malls, but not like American malls where it's like a little stuffed animal and you just sit on it. Yeah. That's yeah. Not, that's not what I'm doing here. Oh. Why? <laughs> Why? Well, because I'm like trying to draw a particular drawing. Jacob has an image in his mind that he's trying to actualize. And it requires- This is pretty good though. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at reference now. Give it some wheels, it's some motorcycle. It's gonna, you know, give it some wheels. Just give it some wheels. Oh it's, yeah. It's gonna have wheels. Maybe a robot. Maybe Viral is there again. <laughs> Viral is there. Listen, Take last time we did one of these, you all got to have your little say-sos <laughs> and ruin the whole drawing. I thought it was a nice drawing. This time, I'm the one who's the, in command I'm in charge. I'm Mr. Big Stuff. Mr. Ham Speed Limit. You couldn't even look up your own reference for the motorcycle. I'm the ham haver. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is about as good a motorcycle as Gallagher would attempt to draw. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think Gallagher ever looks up reference. He's yeah. just like, whatever the best I can do is, is what you're getting. <laughs> I like yeah. that mindset and i yeah i do too i respect that <laughs> i should uh i should mention that heathcliff was originally released in uh the 70s written by george gately and peter gallagher took over he's the the nephew of george gately so these are all oh. uh these are all gallagher comics that i've chosen that that's what i'm familiar with i don't know if they were this absurd before <laughs> the takeover but i just i really love the direction that they've gone now i want to google like early heathcliff all right let's see this one all right okay that one yeah. makes sense it's, yeah. a little, it's a little drawing of heathcliff in his little cat bed which looks like a throne and his little feet are kicked out and the lady's coming into vacuum and the caption is feet up dear that's yeah that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, this ham got legs. <laughs> oh, that ham's got legs. <laughs> Sam, Sam's got legs. <laughs> oh, the ham is also riding a motorcycle? Yeah. Is it a motorcycle ham chase? Yeah, it's a ham chase. Heathcliff is after, you know he'll do anything to get the ham. He'll get the, yeah. He's after that ham. And this ham <laughs> is trying to sort of escape, to evade capture, and it's yeah. not gonna. Spoilers, you can't. No, he's gonna get the ham. He's Where's gonna get Rox the ham. ham. <laughs> Rox ham. <laughs> the ham's name is Rox ham. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. We did it, we forced it in. <laughs> oh, Julia, this one you just shared is an actual joke. Yeah. It's like a cat-related visual gag. Damn. Yeah, the ladies Eclipse at the party. Used to be a, a, a cat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Her skirt's all torn up because someone removed his scratching post, and he was like, "I gotta scratch something. Time to scratch this lady's butt." <laughs> you know, if you keep a comic going for fifty years, eventually you're gonna need to come up with some new ideas. You're gonna <laughs> run out of some material. Yeah. You're gonna need to create a new language. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the action. Oh, good, good tilt. Good tilt on that ham, Jacob. Yeah, because they're they're going. Right. Tilt on ham. They're going. They're going, and that's gonna be important. Yeah. 
But what is the speed limit for ham? If only something could <laughs> indicate that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna do a quick Google search. Keep the internet. Hold on. You're gonna search what's the speed limit yeah. for ham? Yeah. Are no. there are there any oh. <laughs> local ordinances that specify speed limit for ham, or I guess any sort of deli meat? Yeah. <gasps> we got a car. Lightning McQueen. Oh, I see. I see what's going you, you on. You see what's you see where we're headed here? They went through a speed trap, but the cops aren't but, sure. Yeah, as you can yeah. guess, the police aren't going to be very sure what Cuz they, you know, they know the speed limit for motorcycles, but for ham? But for ham. That's different. That's different. <laughs> <laughs> it's cuz he's got like the speed the speed yeah. gun. Right. <laughs> See, I went to go Google the terminal velocity of ham. Okay. Uh huh. And then I was going to say it's whatever the terminal velocity for ham is because it can't go faster than that. Right. Yeah, because that's very accessible information. It'll stop being. Well, ham I Googled it. I Googled yeah. ham terminal velocity. Lots of answers that I don't have access to because I need to be a member of all of these websites. Uh, well, I was, what? I would have assumed you would have just gotten a Heathcliff comic. I googled top running speed for a pig, and it's about eleven miles per hour. Oh, okay. Oh, so, so the speed limit's pretty slow. It's not yeah. that fast. Well, we don't know that that's the limit. Yeah, I mean that's that's how fast a pig can run. Has a pig ever operated a motorcycle before? Let alone has the the meat inside the pig after google being cooked and cured. Pigs ever drive. Operated. <laughs> Not pig, pugs. Pig driving. No dogs can drive. Yeah, not... this, this pig driving <laughs> minus stock photo is what I learned I just have to do. Okay. <laughs> People also ask, can a pig feel love? Oh. oh. Isn't that what that movie uh, that Nicolas Cage movie is about? Charlotte's Web? Yeah, Nicolas Cage's <laughs> Charlotte's Web. <laughs> <laughs> Nicolas Cage plays uh, Charlotte. <laughs> the movie was called Pig. I know. <laughs> but but imagine a world where <laughs> Nicolas Cage played Charlotte <laughs> in Charlotte's Web. I'm not engaging imagine. in these flights of fancy. No. Yeah, you have much <laughs> more pressing things going on. <laughs> we're doing only serious, only serious uh, imagination stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm busy imagining this scene. This this ham chase. This ham chase. <laughs> so I feel like, okay, let's just, uh -huh. let's just like get some of this in like physical space. Yeah. I feel like if this were Heathcliff, then they're gonna be like behind a bush. Oh yeah, the, the, the car's camouflaged. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the road. Yeah. And then there's always like several houses. And like a puffy cloud. In the yeah. background. Don't forget the cloud. I forgot the cloud, but. I Googled, can you teach a pig to drive a car? And the top answer is training a pig to ride politely in a car takes patience, but can start at any age. Aw. Pigs are smart, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah. are. These houses have perspective on it. And that's. Yeah, but the perspective is, is random. This <laughs> okay. one's going this way. Did you know that the canonical name of the town that Heathcliff takes place in is Westminster? Why would I know that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so sorry. Where do you read Heathcliff? Like, where is he? They're posted daily on Go Comics, and then there's also a Twitter account called okay. Real Heathcliff Comics that just posts. The so Heathcliff it's comic. a web comic. It is a web. Comic, yeah. yeah, now it is. But it's also, I think, I think printed in newspapers. Still, I wouldn't know. I uh, I ask because I am curious how much of this is just going over a good chunk of our audience's head. It's kind of become well known online. Yeah, for being weird. And if you don't know about Heathcliff, you should. So, yeah. Yeah. This is, hey kids, have yeah. you heard about Heathcliff? It's a web comic, like Homestuck. So just look it up. 
It's basically the same as Homestuck. Heathcliff equal Homestuck, but for like um, boomers. <laughs> Heathcliff is Homestuck for boomers. Wow. Except Heathcliff's not even stuck in his home. He goes out yeah. all the time. Yeah. He, he gets you're, a job. You're going to see some of the shit Heathcliff gets up to and wish he were stuck in his home. Yeah, everyone yeah. would be safer if that was the case. <laughs> Heathcliff's not stuck in here with us. We're stuck in here with him. All right, this is it. <laughs> this is a beautiful scene. This is what's the speed limit for Ham. Yeah. So here's <laughs> the actual one. Julia did predict it correctly. Oh? Huh? I, I, is it Ham Car? It's, it's a, a Ham Car. It's a silly little Ham Car. Yeah. It's just... It's just a silly little ham car. I did, it's so cute. I did think it was going to be a ham car, and so I specifically wanted to reinterpret. Thank you. And not do a that. ham car. <laughs> and make sort of a more dire scene of a ham being pursued. Uh, yeah. I like, I like the wind, how they draw the windows on the house. It's going, ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> and there are two houses in there two different two perspectives. Yeah, and bushes. <laughs> And yeah, two spectators. Really? Yeah, the horizon yeah. line, you're really tipping over. Yeah. You're really falling while looking at this. <laughs> I mean, perspective works a little differently in Westminster. Yeah. yeah, of course. Uh, Julia, you ready to finish <laughs> us off? Yes. Finish us off. Put us out of our misery. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> okay, Julia. Yeah. I would be remiss mm -hmm. if we did an entire Heathcliff episode without mentioning one of the best oh, recurring no. characters oh, oh God, in boy. Heathcliff. Okay. Here it comes. So, Julia, your caption is, the garbage ape movie is way over budget. <laughs> <laughs> Do we wanna try to explain the garbage ape to people that might not understand yeah. what we're talking I, about. I am the uh, Zoomer stand-in, and I miss the Heathcliff fever when we worked <laughs> together at the office. Please give me further backstory on the garbage ape, papa. I, I can tell you in like one sentence. Yeah. Please. There was a comic of Heathcliff <laughs> in which it depicted Heathcliff skipping along with a big ape who was flinging trash cans around. Yep. And the caption said he loves a visit from the garbage ape. <laughs> and since then, the garbage ape has been a recurring character in Heathcliff for years and years and years, and there is no more context than yeah. that. He likes to, he, he shows up at holidays. Um, yeah. Usually there's a holiday, there's usually like a Christmas, a New Year's, a Thanksgiving, I believe recently there was a President's Day garbage ape. There was one time where the garbage ape was the the big walker thing. Yeah, from the ATAT. The ATAT from Star Wars. Yeah, and the captain yeah. was like, the garbage ape is unstoppable. Nothing can stop the garbage That's ape. That's right. Nothing can caption. stop the garbage ape. I understand now. I do want to point out that Julia has been going through a lot of different facial expressions of thought. <laughs> She's experiencing <laughs> The right last now. time I drew... An ape. An ape. <laughs> <gasps> You've got more than 30 seconds, though. Uh, Your Funky Kong? Hey, it wasn't, <laughs> my Funky Kong wasn't the way that, that it was because of the 30 seconds. <laughs> It was yeah. because I don't know how to draw a goddamn ape. They, they're like, um, <laughs> they're like monkey. They're, they're like, sort monkey. Of like monkey. They're oh. like monkey. Oh. They're kind of like. <laughs> Is he okay? <laughs> well, he's very concerned about the budget, oh, I guess. Oh, he looks dry. <laughs> He's not moisturized oh. and thriving. Oh. Moisturize me. <laughs> they spent all the budget. They couldn't. They couldn't finish his oh, um, his rider to get him all the water all the bottles, moisture. Moisture. <laughs> the water bottles. He just <laughs> you just throw water on him and he absorbs it like a sponge. <laughs> like a yeah. plant. Well, I just I know Julia. You like drawing scenes. Man shoulders. And I figured. <laughs> <laughs> they're really 
<laughs> you got this, Julia. You got this. She keeps sitting back away from the screen and putting her hands over her face. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. She's getting psychic damage from her own drawings. You know, <laughs> you know how... So we recently released the celebrity drawing challenge, mm-hmm. and I was having a great time, and everyone yeah. else... <laughs> Was like dying inside. It's at been the time of recording right now. this. It was recent. By the yeah. time this comes out, who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hate. I can't. This is, this is such what a can't strong... you do? I don't understand. <laughs> I've never drawn an ape before. I mean, you're not doing it now either. <laughs> Damn. This is don't strong be Homer mean. Simpson. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> they well maybe maybe that's who they they, they got a like a guy yeah, <laughs> yeah. Play the the, gar- this is the actor it's chris oh, pratt yeah. this is chris pratt starring as the garbage <laughs> ape they spent all their budget getting chris pratt <laughs> and they made him dry and they made him too dry <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor dry Chris Pratt. <laughs> he truly became a crisp. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great pose, though. Very Renaissance esque. I'm stuck in that part of your drawing, Julia, that I often have when you're doing your drawing. Uh huh. Which is that I can't tell if you have an idea <laughs> or if you just like started drawing this and you're like hoping for the best. <laughs> You know why that is? It's because I, uh, I'm a little fifty fifty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this leg! If, um, if you'd like a hint, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to suffer, we all have to suffer. Amazing. Yes, perfectly fold that leg over the PP. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> His yeah. dry pee pee. Yeah. It's like a it's raisin. So dry. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's like a King Kong. Yeah. It's like a King Kong, everyone. It's like a King Kong. <gasps> hey. Wow, yeah. He's so big. Can you have him holding on to the side of the building by having it clasped between his cheeks? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. thank you. No, you just fold that cheek over the front and you're done. Yeah. Oh, I just, okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I really yeah. Gonna... Cheeked him up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I just think that works. That's all. Thank you. Yeah. It really contextualizes the face he's making. <laughs> uh, oh, we got the, we got the uh, ah windows. <laughs> I'm going to start drawing windows like that. It's a good way to draw windows. <laughs> And that's also what the people in the building are thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for the ones next to the cheek, they're going, "Oh." Ooh. <laughs> so is this is this like a movie set or did they are they shooting on location sort of prankster style? Uh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I see. Julia doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Julia doesn't know. I think she's really adopted the Peter Gallagher writing yeah. style. Yeah. I think oh. if you asked him questions, he'd say the same thing. Yeah, like the words are there. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. You don't, That's life. You're thinking about it too much. This if you're asking questions, piece. you've spent more time on it than I have. <laughs> I got another comic to make. I got, yeah. Yeah, it's a I'm daily busy. comic. It's we like us time. with Drawfee. When people ask me about old episodes, I'm like, I don't know. That already happened. It's done. Yeah. It's in the past. Leave it there. I do like the Heathcliff comics. They'll do these like theme weeks mm-hmm. <laughs> where like, so for example, that the last one, the the ham car, that was part of a series of, of comics where Heathcliff is driving around in a ham car. Wow. God, you got to respect that. When you're in the mood to draw something and you don't want to stop. <laughs> he just kept waking up in the morning and going, yeah, still ham car. <laughs> yeah, it's still it's still ham car. Still, I got to draw another ham car. There was one recently where just every every comic featured someone breathing fire 
out of their mouth. It, it was it, several comics were just someone or something had a big plume of fire coming out of their mouth. The dude's an artist. I love that he just decides, like, yeah, this is gonna, this is fire week. <laughs> yeah, people might think they're making fun of Heathcliff's, but we have a genuine love and appreciation. No, for I, Heathcliff I, I, I want, pure. I want to be very clear. Heathcliff is a delight. That's that's all. And this is a Heathcopter, which yeah. he does have. Yeah, he has canonically. One of those. Yeah. So that makes sense that they're they're using it in because yeah, like use your own stuff, save some budget that way. Um, they're still over budget, unfortunately. What's the old man look like? <laughs> he just has like a round head and a big round nose. Yeah. And he's bald, but he wears a little hat. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he wears the football helmet. That's as true. Well. His name is Ch Chestnut. Is that Chestnut. it? Chestnut. Mr. Chestnut. Oh, oh no, it's Nutmeg. Nutmeg. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Nutmeg, Nutmeg family. One of them nuts. Yeah, Mr. Nut. Hey. Mr. Nut. Oh, belly button. Interesting choice. <laughs> 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 Are apes born of eggs now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well, we don't know. Like, we, don't we don't know where the garbage ape came from, but I will say yeah. the garbage ape canonically does have a belly button. So Okay. You're so correct. He was born yeah. in a mammalian <laughs> fashion. Yeah. I, it's You know, I've been doing this show, Rocky, <laughs> yeah. for so long that like I'm kind of unfazed by episodes now. I kind of just do it. Yeah. If I struggle... There's uh, humor in the struggle. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it's fun in a way that uh -huh. I feel so sweaty. Yeah. From <laughs> the absolute panic that I feel. I'm so glad. About doing this, doing this episode. <laughs> about doing this. <laughs> about doing this. This is so good, though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where your panic is deriving from. Yeah, this is... It was 100% from having to draw a gorilla. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Julia's going to finish this episode and go practice drawing gorillas for like a week straight. <laughs> Animals in general are not my forte. And then you asked me to draw a gorilla and I'm like, uh, Homer. <laughs> gorillas look the Homer most Sampson. like people of any animal. And honestly, the, I'm looking at the garbage ape now. It itself does look quite a bit like Homer Simpson. So yeah. the face isn't <laughs> too far off. The body though is very much a man's body, which yep. I think is- That's just a guy. It's yeah. very funny. For the movie. For the movie. For the movie, the, again, they yeah, got- they mo-capped mo <laughs> Chris Pratt. This is, this is Chris Pratt's body. With an ape head. <laughs> With an ape, an ape's head. An apis head. <laughs> To keep it okay, traditional, so, I'm making it a square. Yeah, some of the buildings, those were too many. And we gotta make it a square. Gotta make it a square. Gotta get rid of this. And be sure to get the sun <laughs> or the moon in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it has to be like, you're right. It was very like, there you go. Beautiful. No, it would be like over here. Two moons, <laughs> Two Tatooine. Moons. <laughs> yeah, this is, the, the Garbage Ape movie is not set on. Oh God, oh wait, more windows. Ah, uh, yeah, just let, out, <laughs> let it all out by writing A's on buildings. <laughs> they they look good as windows, though. Is the thing like it's not a wrong way to draw windows? Is what I'm learning. Ah, ah. <laughs> uh, Ju uh. Julia, you did it. You got there. Uh, did I? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, I thought. I thought I was doing you a favor by giving you a scene to draw <laughs> instead of. I went. I went so vague last time with my caption. So I, I really wanted to give you some direction this time. Ugh. I will say, Julia. I know you did a little bit of torso practice recently. I think I can. I can see it in the chest yeah. and abs it's on this garbage. It's a great torso. Day. This is a strong torso. <laughs> It's just the hips I got to study next Hip, to yeah, make any sort of sense. Hip practice. <laughs> the hips lie in this one. <laughs> yeah, we got to work our way down there. Oh, God. Cheek's pretty great, though. Yeah. Yeah, excellent yeah. cheek. Yeah, really it was good. a good suggestion to make it, you know, make the building in there. You can tell that 
it's it's providing grip. Yeah. <laughs> it's clenched. <laughs> it's clenched. And yeah. by the face. And the face. Yeah. All right. The cheek the cheek face combo. I, I want to see this. It really comic. tells the story. Here it is. Oh wow. Oh. So again, a Kong sort it is of Kong, theme. Yeah. They ran out of budget earlier in the in the movie. <laughs> yeah. Than uh, than Julia imagined. <laughs> I'm obsessed did. with every cat that starts from within the gong to the right. Their heads are doing a mean warble. Yeah, they lean in. <laughs> I, lo I love the way they draw groups of cats. Yes. They're so cute. I will note in all the, the comics I sent, no birds are speaking in any of these. Actually. Just just the mice in this one. It's yeah. mice. Even though mice. there's so many cats to be able to speak in this comic. They're in the movie. Oh, yeah. they're, they're busy. Waiting. They're waiting for directions. Yeah, you're not allowed to speak. They have to pay you for that. And a lot more use of the actual garbage cans as props. <laughs> than, uh... Julia, in yours, it looks like they flew the helicopter up to announce to the garbage <laughs> ape <laughs> that the movie is over budget. Yeah, he got he got on set at call time. Yeah, and has just been <laughs> has just been clenched, waiting for the cameras to start rolling, <laughs> and they had to tell him they had to break the news. <laughs> I just love how the garbage ape is drawn in the original comic because he's like he's got a flat front and then just like he got a, a pretty a deep truck. back. Yeah, his whole back is butt. He, yeah, like it's like honestly, they, he does not have a dump truck. <laughs> yeah, he has like a turtle shell underneath his fur. Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> he has unless, like a real ass. <laughs> unless that whole thing is butt. Like I said, it's all the yeah. way up his butt. Yeah. Well, again, turtle <laughs> turtle shell is a better descriptor. But he does have a belly button, and he yeah. does he have does. pretty defined pecs. So Julia, yeah. you got those correct. I did it. <laughs> oh. And you you kind of got the same sort of look of distress on his face. Yeah, that's true. Like the he's same, upset, yeah, but different. he's upset about the, the budget in both of these, disappointed. <laughs> you could tell he was excited about the prospect yeah. of making a film and his hopes have been dashed. Julia's has more of like a cosmic distress. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking to the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, cause again, I imagine these take place like in chronology, like the movie was out of budget and then somehow they raised enough budget to continue filming and then it became out of budget a second time <laughs> because they're further along yeah, yeah. in one the of those, Kong story. It's one of those theme weeks where every every day it's the, <laughs> it keeps escalating Yeah, and it's the same caption. It's the same caption. It's, it's just, it's way over budget. God. It continues to be way over budget every comic. <laughs> I feel like I've seen Gallagher draw this exact kind of helicopter, and I really yeah. want to find it now. He definitely has. He has. Yeah. yeah. He for sure has. I don't know why I remembered that, but not what an ape looks like. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, you I did think we've all We've all paid homage to, uh, I'll say it, the greatest webcomic <laughs> to ever exist. Yeah. Eat shit, Homestuck. Sorry, Homestuck. <laughs> Go back home. And get stuck there. Hey. <laughs> well, what is left to say except <laughs> up, up, up. These were some. Uh, these were some wonderful <laughs> comics. Some wonderful interpretations of the captions, and just a real treat for me. If you're unfamiliar with Heathcliff, please go check it out. It is. I dare you to read them and not smile a li even a little bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, or or be bewildered. Either way, it'll be an improvement to the day to day drudgery. And if you are a Heathcliff fan, comment down below your favorite ship and who <laughs> you think is the most problematic Heathcliff character. <laughs> it's probably Heathcliff. And if your robots get along, <laughs> please subscribe. <laughs> Get along with our robots at Patreon. <laughs> yeah. And if your movie isn't way over budget, <laughs> maybe throw us a few dollars over yeah. there. Buy some merch. Yeah, and speed your ham straight over to Twitch <laughs> Monday nights when we stream. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, we're, we're sorry. 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 sorry.